I am beyond thrilled to uh, receive my new crown neurotomy equipment as part of our clinical trial. This is the Iovera system made by Pesira. We are doing an upper and lower extremity study. Here are four handheld machines that have a charging dock. And here is the smart tip at the end. It is individual probe uh, calibrated for one procedure. You can see the electrical equipment here, and this is the length of the probe that will slide into the skin. We inject it through a 16 gauge angiocath just to help with uh, targeting the needle as well as how it will look under ultrasound. Here is we turn on the probe quite quickly. It forms an ice ball due to the very low temperatures of the nitrogen gas, and it forms an ice ball long and wide quite quickly, allowing to make sure that we can touch the nerve to cause degeneration. So we have Wallerian degeneration of the nerve, length dependent, but we preserve the epineurium, basal membrane, and perineurium without difficulty. As soon as we turn off the nitrogen, which happens at 106 seconds, um, it will begin to immediately uh, melt so we can move the needle to another spot. Each cycle is 106 cycles and there's three cycles per canister. So we're able to do three lesions to one nerve before we change the canister and move to another location. Here is an example of a fully formed ice ball that will cause the Wallerian degeneration of the nerve. I think it's quite beautiful. When we target a tibial nerve, in this case, a whole trunk for a quinovarus foot, we are able to localize it. And the smart tip has a built-in electrical stimulator that we attach to our own stimulator. So we're able to target at very low uh, amplitude, uh, one milliamp maximum. And then as we turn on the gas, you can see the ice ball forming. This will cause the electrical stimulator to stop being able to stimulate as we are actively freezing the nerve and we will see that 1.0 milliamps drop and drop and you can see the shadow being generated as the gas is being delivered and the probe is freezing okay. this is a real live demonstration of dr vincent holding the probe in dr vincent decided to try one case as he retired this week uh, just to make sure he approved of the equipment so we can move to the future <laughs>